Hey! 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 Bob, turn around! Bob! Those two are still figuring each other out. And the hens are telling jokes about me again. Good morning from the Petty Jean River. I am Jeff. Today is Thursday. It's 74 degrees, sunny, slight breeze, a few clouds here and there. I went fishing with my neighbor uh, right by a road. But this is the Petty Jean River. This is um, uh, this is where the Petty Jean River comes out of Blue Mountain Lake. Uh, Blue Mountain Lake was created by a dam on the Petty Jean River. So this is where it exits uh, Blue Mountain Lake heading east. And uh, the crappie are supposed to be good here in the Petty Jean River. I haven't caught anything yet, but uh, that's why I'm out here today. You got to learn by trying. All right, uh, enough talking. Back to fish. My fishing day yeah going out at noon just is not the smartest thing in the world <laughs> there are a lot of other people out uh, out fishing though we went to uh, three different places four different places I don't even remember I remember how to get to all four of the places though so now I just need to start catching some crappie there so <laughs> oh that was fun he got uh, one white bass and that was it. That was the only bite he had. That was the only bite I had. The other people we saw fishing, they weren't having any luck either. Although some of them did have uh, stringers, so they were catching them earlier. That's what you got to do. The early, early bird gets the fish. And then you take the afternoons off. Then right before dark, that's what I was always told. First thing in the morning and right before dark is the best time to 
It's kind of like how chickens eat, you know? They wake up in the morning and they pig out. And then, uh, you know, they're kind of cool all day long. And then the afternoon rolls around. They get their dust bath in. They maybe hop up on the on the roost for a little nappy nap. And then late afternoon, they're ready to pig out again before before they go to bed. So I think in that, uh, that analogy with the chickens and the fish, who knows? I got to give it a try. I got to go fishing more often. All right, enough babbling. Fire is still uh, sputtering along, but just some big old logs that are that are still going. So cool. That's uh, for the most part done. Oh, and that tree there. It was kind of cool. It was a dead tree, a dead walnut tree. And the inside of it was hollowed out. And so it just kept on burning and burning from the inside out. That was interesting because it was hollowed out so uh, air could get inside and so it was burning from the inside out I should probably walk down there and show you but I'm too lazy right now I was just climbing up and down banks going fishing this little area I just threw together to try to save some of the spider lilies and daffodils and yeah they're going good and then on the other side over here I planted some brand new bulbs that had been gifted to me and they're blooming well at least some of them um i don't remember i did write it down i did write it down which daffodils are which but there are like four different varieties of daffodils in there and yeah yeah they bloom this year i didn't i didn't plant them all that long ago but they really love that uh that wood chips and these are like uh those are a fancier daffodils than the other ones I have. That one's got some orange in it. All right, I'll have to keep my eyes on those. There's a few more just popping up out over there. Looks like I've got some spectators. You guys watching me pick up trash? dealing with carpet I already tore up carpet in one area but the rest of this there's a layer of carpet and then you lift up the carpet and there is a list linoleum and when I lifted it up up here uh, there was another six inches of trash underneath there so yeah a lot of people suggest rakes that doesn't work on carpet and especially with you got roots and these uh, greenbrier bushes all over the place. So yeah, rake rake only makes things harder. So I'm I'm just doing what I'm doing and slowly getting there. You would not believe. I mean, it just looks like surface trash, but you would not believe how many bags of trash I've taken out of here. And what I do is I fill about a third of it with uh, heavy stuff from the shovel. And then I go, uh, you know, as much as I can with some of the lighter stuff from the top. So that's the only way to, to balance out the bag so they aren't too heavy. So, yeah, two more bags tonight, and I'm calling it quits. Tomorrow's trash day. We'll see if I can get another one tomorrow.
That's a wrap for this Thursday. Busy all day long. Didn't even get a nap in. But that's all right. I went fishing instead. We got some hungry cats. The chickens are they're settling down for the night. Had a good day of eggs. Um, my whiting true blue hens, the younger ones, are starting to lay, and they're man, they don't even look big enough to be laying eggs. So, which means I don't. Yeah, I got to keep them, those hens, separate from the older hens because. Um, the younger hens, the roosters are their brothers, and that's just not, you know, you do, yeah, people do it uh, for specific reasons, but it's really not a good idea to do brother, sister, hatch their eggs, you know, um, so I'm not going to do that, uh, so I need to separate those hens from my older white and true blue hens so that I know which eggs are which, oh, all this stuff, I'm going to do another video on chicken genetics. And somebody suggested last time, dude, you need a chart. That's exactly what I need to explain the white and the blue with the brown on the white or the brown on the blue. And, you know, every egg is either white or blue on the inside. And that brown is just like a coating, like an inkjet putting ink on a, on a piece of paper. And either the paper's white or the paper's blue. And the brown on the paper turns the paper either brown or green. And yeah, but then the first generation, they've got one white and one blue piece of paper and, and you don't know, hey, are they gonna give their kids the white piece of paper or are they gonna give their kids the blue piece of paper? See, I need a chart. All right, enough of this silliness. Man, spring is coming on hard. And uh, yeah, so take her easy everybody because I have not been taking her easy lately. And it's been a good thing. So you guys take her easy for me. And I'll see you later. Real quick before my sister calls me back. There are eight eggs here. <laughs> Too late. Uh, number two went broody. I'm putting these eggs underneath and I marked them so that we know.